Hello, my name is Ben Anson. I'm with 25 Year 9 Technology Options. At Royal Mile School, we believe that all our students should leave able and qualified. And in technology, we deliver an ambitious, creative and innovative cur curriculum which empowers students with the skills, knowledge and attributes to allow them to succeed in the next phase of education and in their working life. We draw on a whole host of transfer transferable skills, such as problem solving skills, creative skills, critical analysis skills, evaluation skills, skills which are seen in the employment sector as being absolutely vital. Year 9 technology is based on two subjects, resistant materials and constructing a built environment. And we'll take a look at first at resistant materials. So resistant materials is a GCSE and it's offered by AQA. There's two parts, paper one, which is a written exam and what we call the design portfolio of a non-exam assessment. So we'll take a quick look at the paper one exam. It's split into three parts. It's two hours and it's 100 marks. And it's worth 50% of a GCSE. So section one, we're looking at core technical principles. So you'll have uh, various questions on design technology. Question two is looking at more specialist technical principles. So more questions about resistant materials, different types of materials. Section three is the designing and making section here. You'll be asked to design a product and talk about how you would make it in a manufacturing processes. The next part of the course is what's known as a non-exam assessment and we call it the design and make portfolio. In the portfolio, it follows three parts, research, design and develop. And here's some examples of some of our work from previous years. So we've got some researching, so this person's researching bedside tables, we're looking at different materials, aesthetics, ergonomics. The next part will be designing. And here we really encourage our students to try and design in 3D and render and annotate their design ideas. And finally, after they've done the designing, they'll develop it. And they can develop their ideas in a number of different ways, either as foam models, card models, or they can do computer-aided design models. The next part is the practical part where they finally get to make their final idea. They'll utilize a range of skills that they've developed throughout technology to create some of their ideas using a range of different materials. And here's some ideas again from previous years. So we've got some lamps, MP3 speakers, MP3 speakers which have been based on um, retro design ideas. So that's resistant materials. The next one is constructing a built environment. Constructing a built environment is a level one slash two award, a vocational award, and it's offered by WJEC. Now construction is the biggest employer in South Yorkshire. So it's really important that we can send our students out with the practical skills and the safety, uh, health and safety knowledge, and develop an understanding of the, of the planning that goes into some construction projects. It's a really exciting industry to be involved in at the moment and the average construction salary currently is £43,000, well, nearly £44,000. So the course is split up into three uh, units. Unit one is safety and security. This is an online exam and it's 25% of the overall mark. And here they'll look at things like safety signs, risk assessments, um, how we can put in control measures to stop people getting hurt. And this is a really essential part of the construction industry. So that's the first part, unit one. Unit two is developing practical projects. Now this is the practical part of the course. And here the students will do three practical uh, elements and then they'll do a written write-up. So the three practical elements they do is they create a wooden window frame, which has got made from bridle joints, mortise and tenon, and, and uh, mitre joints. They'll look at cutting mortises for the hinges, and that's the wooden window frame. The next one they will do is a tiling project. Lay tiles in a stretcher and stat bond and even cut the tiles ready to go into the corner of their board. Our next project is one the students and the teachers really look forward to, which is the brick laying, the brick barbecue project. Here, especially when the weather is nice, here you can see us outside laying our bricks, cutting bricks, uh, making sure we're checking each course with a spirit level. So with each practical project comes a write-up. Within the write-up, there'll be things like 
a toolless step-by-step guide and evaluation. The final unit then is unit three, which is planning construction projects. Here students get an idea of what work goes into construction projects before a single brick or foundations have been laid. They look at what makes a project come from a dream into a reality. They'll look at different occupations within that, such as architects, what a structural engineer does, and then finally, the contractors who go on site and create the final construction project. So there we have it, that's our year nine technology. If you'd like your child to take part in a course which is exciting and has good employability skills, then pick year nine technology.